Hello there, it's Carrie Rhodes here. Welcome back to the Trinity Stamps YouTube channel and a new paper crafting video. Today I am playing with some brand new things from the shop and mashing them together with things from my stash. The first brand new thing is this snowflake tag die set. This is actually a set you can earn for free when you shop at Trinity Stamps and spend $35 while supplies last. There were six collections of these. I think this is the last set in the collection, but I'm not sure. Stay tuned to the shop for more information on that. And then I brought in that pine tree background stamp that's new and this Simply Sentimental stamp set that's new. I love this collection of Simply Sentimental. So that's three new things I'm using. And here's some older things. This is the Happy Snowman die set and the A7 Snowflake Frame die set. I love these two things. I use them a lot. You've probably seen other videos from me with these things. So I am going to start out with the frame and I'm going to die cut that from a piece of white glitter paper. It's backed with our rip and stick sheets. I am going to turn this into a frame so I need this middle piece. So I'll cut both at the same time, taping them together and then I will have a snowflake frame that's five by seven. It's very cool. Now, this is glitter paper and it's backed with rip and stick sheets, so it's quite thick. I definitely recommend running it two or three times through your die cutting machine to make sure it gets through all that. And then this middle section will come out. I don't need it, so um, I'm going to use it for other things. Now it is time to pick out all of the... <laughs> little pieces in between the snowflakes and to create the frame on the piece that's going to back this. So I'm just going to back it with another frame that's five by seven. So I'll use the same exact frame that I did on the outside panel. And then I just used my that as a guide to draw on the white piece that'll go behind it. So the white glitter paper with a white background, it's going to um, keep this frame somewhat subtle. So here is the time to pick out all of those pieces. They come out easily. They're just sticky on the back. So I had the garbage can right by me and I just picked and flicked. That sounds like something a preschooler does. Ew. Sorry. Let's move on. Okay. So now I have my frame stuck to my back piece. I'm going to now create the background. So I stamped that pine tree background stamp with white ink on this green paper. I made this background a while back when I was first reviewing all the products in the release. So I had it in my stash. We always say that in my stash, right? <laughs> yeah. So once something's not new, it becomes part of the stash. Is that because we hide it? We don't want people to know how much crafting stuff we actually have. <laughs> All right, I am using the foam tape from Pear Blossom Press. It's called the world's best foam tape. It's repositionable, and you will not believe how many times I take advantage of that in this video. <laughs> so that piece that I cut out from the middle, I just took my scissors, cut a little hill, and stuck it inside my card. And then I'm going to take another piece of glitter paper that does not have any sticky backing, and I'm gonna cut out those snowflake tags. So they have a little opening at the top, so you can string them onto a tag, string them wherever you wanna string them. And I will tell you that the inspiration for this card came from my husband when I said, what kind of card should I make today for Trinity Stamps? And he said, you should do a snowman in the forest with dangling, snowflakes. And I was like, ooh, I have just the tag die set for that. So I tied them up with some string and then I, you can see, repositioned my frame, opened it up, and I'm going to dangle my snowflakes. And they're going to be sandwiched between the frame and that foam tape. So you'll see that. I'm, I'm going to reposition this again. As you know, when you're a card maker, you're creating and things don't always go the way that they are in your head or you realize, ooh, I should do that. So that happens a lot for this card. <laughs> but there you can see they're dangly, they swing back and forth, they're kind of festive. All right, so here's that Happy Snowman die set. He's like slimline size, he's so cool. I have made a doorknob hanger with this. I have made an ornament with this that is felt and stuffed. He's so cute. So um, 
today is just makes me happy that I get to play with him again. He is so fun. So I'm only using the two smallest. I didn't use the largest of the um, pieces to create his body. You can make him three high. I'm just going to make him two high. All right, so I added some twig arms. There's also straight arms that are really cute, but that just took up too much space for my card. I die cut the... Um, scarf from both red glitter cardstock and some plain red cardstock so I could paper piece them together. It creates such a fun look to have half glitter and half plain. It gives it a striped look, but it's tone on tone. Love it. All right, then we're going to add um, his hat with a red glitter band and then his face. So there's a die, there's two dies that cut out these smaller little circles that can be for his buttons or his eyes. And then there's two different sizes of carrot noses in this set. I chose the smaller and then the smile. There's open, also like an open smiling mouth you could do. And then I stuck him down inside my little frame there and paper pieced in the last part of his scarf. And then the snowflakes just dangle right in front of him. It's so fun. Now I'm gonna take some white acrylic paint. This is PH Mar Dr. PH Martin's no bleed white and I'm creating a shadow or like a really a highlight on the buttons and I realized that it's just not as deep of a shadow box kind of look that I want for this card so I decided let's see if this is still repositionable and it was this came off no paper was harmed in the removing of that frame I'm in love with it. I needed to move those snowflakes over and I wanted the shadow box to be higher, thicker. So I added a second layer of this already double thick foam tape. And um, I decided that the larger snowflake, I would have it be on the top layer. So one, it's more 3D, right? One's farther back, one's closer to the top. I mean, you can't really notice, but I notice, I know and I think it's awesome. So one thing I would do differently if I made this again, I would do my snowflakes so they are double thick, like two layers thick. I brought in an, an RV10, I believe is the marker I used, and gave him some rosy cheeks before adding my sentiment, which is gonna say, have yourself a merry little Christmas. I'm gonna stamp and emboss my sentiment. I pre-treated my red cardstock with anti-static powder, and then I'm gonna stamp out the sentiment with clear, ink. So my tip for doing this on a small sentiment, you know, thin, small letters is not a lot of ink, not a lot of pressure. Use a misty or a stamp positioning tool so you can stamp it down more than one time and press lightly. And then you've got your letters that are nice and thin. And then I take mine for a little dip in some white powder. I do tap off the excess when it is fine little detailed letters like this. Emboss that, heat set it, melt it, all the things, and trimmed it down so it would be a nice skinny little strip. Because I'm going over the top of glitter paper, I decided to do double adhesive. So rip and stick tape on the back, as well as liquid glue. And that makes me happy. Knowing that my card probably is not going to fall apart makes me happy. So I do tape and liquid glue, but you don't have to. You do what makes you happy. <laughs> Use what you have, right? All right, so then for the Christmas, which is only die cut, the sentiment was stamped the at the top. The one at the bottom is just die cut. N the next set I'm bringing in that I wasn't sus you know, planning on using is the holiday candle and botanical set. Look at all the botanicals in this set. It is amazing. You can create wreaths with a candle on the inside. The wreath can be the O for the word joy. There's like a bow twine to go around your candle. Three different sizes of candles, a poinsettia. I just chose to use the tiny baby holly and berries. It's so cute. All right, in the A7 snowflake frame, there are three snowflakes. I love snowflake dyes. And so I decided I would use those as well on that white glitter paper backed with the rip and stick sheet, creating some like snowflake stickers for the inside of my card. Because one other thing my husband insists on is that cards should have something on the inside. I don't know if that's enough for him, but it has something. So it counts, right? <laughs> Yeah, so there is my snowman in the forest with dangling snowflakes combining old favorites with brand new things. Now, if you love that snowflake 
set that I'm showing right here, my dangling snowflakes, you want to make sure, hit up the Trinity Stamp Shop, spend your $35, and get this set for free. Thank you so much for stopping by. I will see you all again soon with a new video video right here on the Trinity Stamps channel, and you can find us on Instagram and Facebook also. I'll see you soon. Happy stamping. Bye.